Hello, my name is Brandon Ellis, and today I'm going over the Clarinet Care and Cleaning Kit provided by Veritas Instrument. So your care kit is going to include a luggage hang tag that you can attach to your case. It's always a good idea to put a name and a phone number on here in case your instrument gets lost or stolen. You just want to put the hang tag through, pull it tight around the handle. Thing. and then you'll always know which clarinet is yours. You also have your information card that lists all the items that are in your care kit as well as some um, caution points that are always a good idea to read. We'll go over how to assemble your clarinet which is the main point on this card um, when we get into the clarinet in a second. You have a pencil and a practice card to keep tabs on when you practice and for how long and the pencil can also be used while in rehearsal in case your band director would like you to make a note in the music. And you have a reed guard. Whenever you get done practicing or playing, you want to take your mouthpiece apart and put the reed inside a reed guard so that it lasts longer. I want to go over how to properly clean your clarinet with the things provided in your care and cleaning kit. The first thing I want to do is the mouthpiece. Inside your kit will be a mouthpiece brush and you can take this and clean the inside chamber of your clarinet mouthpiece as well as where the reed resides. You can do this inside of some soapy water um, and that'll get it nice and clean and then just set it aside to dry. Keep an eye on your cork. If this starts to peel or break away, you're gonna to wanna to take that into the shop to have it repaired. Um, the ligature and the cap can just be washed in the water um, and then set aside to dry. The brush can also be used to go inside the barrel of your clarinet and the bell of your clarinet. Same idea, as long as it's plastic, you can wash those. Um, the other brush inside your care kit is the key brush. Now, this is for going underneath the keys on the instrument and wiping out any type of dust and debris. You wanna be careful and not dislodge any of the springs or any of the pads, but it's a nice way Keep the inside underneath your keys a little cleaner. And then this end of the brush is used to clean around your tenons to get off any excess cork grease that's residing so that it doesn't sit there and age and kind of get grody looking. The last brush cleaning item inside of your care kit is the swab. Now the swab is designed to be put through the clarinet after you're done playing or practicing. And what that's doing is it's wicking the moisture out of the instrument so that when you put it in the case, it doesn't cause it to mold sitting in a dark case. One caution point is when you swab out the upper joint, you want to be very careful about what we call the register key. And this has a little pip that sticks up inside the body and you don't want to get your swab stuck on the pip. So I recommend going through with the swab and gently pulling it through the clarinet all the way through. If you feel it start to snag, stop, don't force it, and just pull it back out the other way because you don't want to get it stuck on the pip. You'll have to take it somewhere to get it removed. Now that we've cleaned your clarinet, I want to show you the proper way to apply cork grease and assemble the instrument. Your cork grease comes in a handy tube. All you need to do is apply a thin layer on the corks. It doesn't require you to put a large amount on the instrument. You only need just a thin coating on all of the corks when you go to assemble your clarinet. And this is gonna allow it to slide smoothly into the other joint and not have too much friction. So you apply a small layer of the cork grease and then you can assemble your clarinet. Now the best way to assemble your clarinet is to take the bell and gently push it on to the instrument. Take the upper joint, hold it gently on the keys, lifting what we call the bridge up over the lower joint, and then lining up the two posts on the instrument so that your bridge key is in the proper position to activate the note. 
And then lastly, you take the barrel and you can gently push that on and then the mouthpiece. And then once everything is lined up, you're ready to play the instrument. The other item inside of your care kit is a thumb rest pad. In the event that you lose the one that's on your clarinet or it does not have one, this is here to help the pressure on your thumb when you hold the clarinet. Now that we've assembled your clarinet, the last item in your care and cleaning kit is the polish cloth. And this can be used to wipe down the keys on your instrument. Just gently take your fingers and wipe off the tops of the keys as well as the touch pieces. And this will help make it shiny and keep it nice looking as you're practicing and playing. That's all the items in your clarinet care and cleaning kit. Just a reminder that the caution card has a list of all the accessories as well as some good hints. And thank you for watching.